This is East Palestine, Ohio in February of 2023. A train carrying some quantity of hazmat derailed and burned for three days. Several tankers of vinyl chloride burned. There was a controlled demolition. Townspeople and environment were affected. Some townspeople were permanently affected. The cost of the railroad is estimated at a billion dollars and 18 lawsuits have been filed. Why did this happen? Railroad car maintenance was ineffective. Warning signals were ineffective. And there are people, systems, and processes behind both of these things that failed. People didn't do their jobs. Railroad infrastructure is generally terrible. It wouldn't have been built in the first place without heavy government intervention. Railroads literally can't afford to upgrade their systems. It requires massive government spending to maintain it crap like. They do this because it's considered vital to the economy, but it's not as glamorous and impressive as stadiums and airports. There are more than a thousand derailments per year. This is considered part of the system. It's been going on since the beginning. Railroads are always cutting costs. They need to make the trains longer, which causes problems. They also need to make the crews smaller and more lowly paid. The train that wrecked only had two employees and one trainee on board. In 1960, a crew of six was required. The result? Train wrecks happen all the time. Railroads have insurance and significant legal budgets to cover this. The situation is, system's too big and too old to replace and no one wants to fix it. This falls under the category of entrenched mediocrity. An obvious beneficial change is resisted, especially for non-technical reasons. The organization accepts mediocrity to avoid the cost of change. A widely known problem is allowed to continue despite obvious risk and overhead activities become more important than production. To their credit, sort of, the railroad has agreed to fines and improvements. The railroad's paying for cleanup and compensating some of the residents who are affected. Still not as good as fixing their rail cars and training their operators better. The result? There'll be more disasters in the future. The system requires fundamental improvements that require socialism to happen, and this is politically unpalatable. People still won't do their jobs.